July was a crazy month for my stock photo sales with lots of firsts. I'm going to go through them all in this video. So let's get right into it. One thing that didn't change with my July photo sales was Envanto was the number one stock site for revenue. And I don't think this is going to change for a while because of the way Envanto calculates the earnings is going to typically be number one. However, my second highest earning site did change. This is the first month that Adobe stock has ever been my second highest site. And this is the first time that Adobe stock has earnings have ever been higher than my Shutterstock earnings. Now this is a big change from a year or two ago. Typically Shutterstock was always my number one or my number two site. Sometimes, you know, I get some big sales on something like 500 PX and it would be a big month, but never consistently. Shutterstock has always been my best consistent earner. But over the last year, Shutterstock has been consistently going down slightly and Adobe stock has been going up slightly. And we've gotten to the point where Adobe stock is higher than Shutterstock. Now this is gonna be a big change for me. Like typically when somebody asks me, you know, I'm starting out in stock. What's the first site that I should go to? I always say Shutterstock. But if this is keeps happening consistently where Adobe stock is higher than Shutterstock, my answer to that question is going to change. All right, now number four on my list is a huge surprise. My fourth highest revenue for the month was Pexels. Now, for those who don't know, Pexels is a free stock photography site. So I upload my photos there and anybody can use them for free commercially or for whatever they want. Okay, so you might be wondering, how do you make money on that? Well, when someone downloads the photo, they're prompted to give a donation or share on one of the social networks. Okay, and last month, one person gave a $20 donation, another person gave a $25 donation, and I also had some smaller donations. Okay. Now you might be wondering, well, with 20 plus 25, why is the revenue only $44? Well, it's because PayPal does take a cut of that and I only keep track of what I actually receive. Okay. But this is huge. Think I've only got about a hundred photos, 115 photos on Pexels and I've got three, 400 photos on a number of other sites and I'll put a list up here. Okay. So for my photos, I would actually make more money giving them away for free than I would on selling them on these other sites these days. And some of these sites used to be very big productive sites like Dreamstime, you know, 123RF, Deposit Photos. I still typically make a fair amount of money off those. So it's crazy that I'm making more in donations off a free stock photography site than I am on these paid sites. Now, moving down the list on big stock photo, I had my biggest month since April, 2017. So it's been a couple of years since I've had a month this big. This is great, especially considering last month, I actually made no sales on big stock photo. So it really just shows you how the changes month over month um, can happen on one stock site. Now, moving down the list a little more, I had my biggest month ever on canned stock photo. And I don't have many photos. I typically don't upload there because I only make a couple dollars a month, so it's not really worth the time. So it's pretty crazy that I actually had a decent sized month here. Um, however, I don't expect this to continue. It's probably just a few, but it would be cool if actually those sales started to pick up. And finally, I've got a new addition to my list with my first sale ever on Canva. Now, it's not much, but I only uploaded my photos there two months ago. So it's good to see that I am getting some sales. And hopefully, you know, the way this typically works is as you start to get sales, the algorithms will then show your photos more and your, your sales will pick up. So it'll be good to see what happens with this one in a couple of months because it could hopefully, you know, as the site grows, become another good earner for me. Now, after a pretty low month in June with only $366, it's nice to see that my revenue kind of bounced back in July, edging over the $500 mark. Now, if you want to see more of my stock earnings reports, you can go take a look at my stock earnings playlist, and I've put a link to that up here. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications so you don't miss my future stock earnings reports because I do this every month. Best of luck selling your photos online.